Hello everybody, I'm back with another video. Um, I'll just say it first, the eagle eye viewers may know that the carpet in here has been changed. It was stick down floor tiles before, now it's carpet. I just wanted to say that because people, when I've changed things subtly, people have commented. So I thought, I thought I'd just tell you the carpet's been changed. It was only, it was cheap. It's only a short pile twisted verba tweed, so it's horrible really. It's council house carpet. But you know, for the price it was, if it gets full of grease and stains, I can roll it up and put it in the bin and get another. And you know, I've got loads of upright vacuums and hardly any cylinders and canisters, so I thought, well, with so many uprights and the fact to repair them, it's an insult to not have a carpet, isn't it, in, really, in here? So yeah, today's video, what have I done on here, honestly? Today's video is on this. Um, This is a Summit vacuum cleaner. It keeps reminding me of some other type of vacuum cleaner. I can't remember what type, but it it just reminds me of another make and model for some reason, but it's not coming to mind at the moment what it is. There's another brand um, that has a roundel there, you see, and I can't remember the word it says, and it's in that exact place, um, but it's not associated with this at all because this is a Summit vacuum cleaner made by the Summit Vacuum Cleaner Company. I will show you there, the logo says summit a little picture of a mountain um so anything else that this looks like is completely coincidental bit of muck there on it oh, it's a scratch isn't it so um yes basically the story to this machine is i'm searching facebook marketplace one day and a man had for sale for 10 pound i don't know where he'd got this from the silly man he'd got it completely wrong um he had for sale listed it said 1960s vintage Hoover Senior. I thought, <laughs> Hoover Senior? It's not a Hoover Senior, you silly Billy. This is a Summit vacuum cleaner. Um, Yeah. So I saw it for a tenner and I thought, I'll give it a whirl. Because it was only 15 minutes from my house. Um, So I'll show you around the machine, basically. But underneath is where it gets a bit more disappointing because, well, as well, there's the first thing wrong with it. The bag zip thing has come off and the bag seized, so you can't open the bag. It's completely seized shut. But that muck, there is muck in there packed absolutely solid. So I'll just have to, it's not a gen, ooh. It is a genuine bag because it's made by Summit, not made by anyone else. Whatever bag it is, I might just cut off. Um, yeah, it's a bit more disappointing under here because there's no brush roll, the base plate's missing and there's not even a belt pulley, never mind a belt. Um, well, there was a belt pulley. It was like that when I bought it and I touched it like that and it came off. Because it's a two-part belt pulley, so, I mean, it could be genuine. It's probably made by Summit in some factory somewhere years ago. There's a top metal piece, and a, the bottom piece is plastic. That sort of grips the black plastic piece like that, um, but it's worn away and come off. Um, so it's not all metal, so that was rubbish. Strangely enough, I've no idea why. It, it must just be... a complete coincidence the strangest thing ever really for some reason which i've still not got my head around the hoover senior 652 range of spare parts fit this now how is that for a coincidence because this isn't a hoover senior this is a summit vacuum cleaner made by summit and it has absolutely nothing to do with the hoover seniors at all so that, that was very strange, really. It's even got a very genuine, very official, very professionally put on sticker to even explain this. It's hard to get in the light, but um, can you see there? It says the Summit vacuum cleaner, 240 volts, 50 hertz, 300 watts British made. And in some very profession, professionally hand-drawn pen, ballpoint, it says the 9th January, February, March, April. Yeah, the 9th of April, 1992, which was clearly 
the date of manufacture because this machine is obviously from 1992. Why the hell would it be from any other year? I've just noticed that as well. Isn't that strange? Again, no idea why. This bottom cord hook that snapped off because it's plastic. Inside it's white or ivory. It's not black all the way through. It looks like it's been painted under there. Can you just see? I'm sure it's not. I'm sure. I don't know what Summit were thinking there. I mean, I don't know why they do that. Must be an error at the factory. Um, the top cord hook is metal and is intact. The bottom one is plastic and has snapped off and for some reason is white underneath. It's funny though because it's the same sort of plastic and it's the same colour that Hoover used on the Senior 652 series. But again, that's a totally different machine with absolutely nothing to do with this whatsoever. Um, underneath here... Well, there's the motor hood, and here there's a piece of plastic. I'm not quite sure what that's for. It's been painted over black, so it clearly isn't a headlight lens. And if I take this off and there's a bulb holder on the other side of here, that is just a coincidence and has nothing to do with anything, so don't even think about that. Um, yeah, the bag is seized shut, unfortunately. A nice black bag to match the black handle which this machine is exactly how it would have looked when it left the factory. It's in really good condition, actually. And again, the handle release here, you can just see, this is the handle release pedal, and you press this to lower the handle, a bit like the Senior 652s, actually. Oh, it is working. It's just a bit, a bit slow and a bit sluggish. Anyway, where it's been pressed down, it seems to have worn away this black paint. I don't know why, because that black paint would have been put on in the Summit vacuum cleaner factory. Um, and again, it's the same colour as what Hoover used for the release pedals on the Senior 652s. It's, just, it's so strange, that, isn't it? Because again, when you tip it upside down to have, under, have a look underneath the thing, it says absolutely nowhere doesn't even say there it says nowhere hoover senior 6525 or hoover senior 652 so you know it, it obviously isn't one because it doesn't say that and it's got that sticker on there um that really good sticker so yeah strangely enough when i go on ebay because i want to buy some spares for this machine to get this machine working again because um, I'm probably the only person left in Britain with a Summit vacuum cleaner. There's the very rare these, they're as rare as Hens TTT. Um, I can't find any spare parts for the Summit vacuum cleaners, which is very strange really. But for some reason, and I don't know why, when I type in Hoover Senior 652 series spare parts... It comes up with loads of parts for this machine, which again is so strange because it's not a Hoover Senior. Um, I don't know why that's happening really at all. And this, uh, this, I, I don't know. It's like a real life glitch or something, isn't it? Um, there's no base plate or anything, as I said before. But I happen to have in my spare parts stock a genuine... No, it's not. It's a copy by Qualtex. They're all right, though, Qualtex. Complete agitator, metal, to fit the Hoover Senior 652 series, as it says on there, the Seniors and Rangers. 652, 652A, 652C, 652E. And this isn't any of them. But as mad as it is, I mean, I might even be able to do it in the packet. Will it fit in the packet or not? Wait there. No, because you have to align um, the thing on the side of it, don't you? There. I've done it. I've managed to fit it in the packet. And it fits this Summit vacuum cleaner. How strange is that? It fits the summit. Not coming out now. A Hoover Senior brush roll fits a summit vacuum cleaner. So any of you other collectors that find a summit vacuum cleaner, helpful hint, search for um, 
Hoover Senior spares and for some reason they all fit this and it's a totally, totally different machine. So I've no idea why that's happening. Um, the cable is a black cable. I mean, this machine was made in 1992, so it wouldn't have been black and red cable. It would have been brown and blue by then, but it's been chopped off anyway. So we've no way to test it. So I got myself, I've always wanted one and finally bought one, a quick test, which if you know what it is, great. And if you don't, a quick test is basically if you've got an appliance that you want to test, um, you can use one of these. It saves you putting a plug on it if you just want to do a quick test of something, hence the name, quick test. Um, so you just basically put your live in there and your neutral in there. And if you've got an earth in there, and then you shut the lid, plug the quick test in, and you can test your appliance without fitting the plug. So I think that's what we'll do to this Summit vacuum cleaner to see how well the motor runs. And if the motor isn't running well, I'll have to look online and search for Summit vacuum cleaner motor spares and loads will come up. I'm sure of it. Um, yeah, there's another sticker on this here, actually. What does this one say? MIC or Mike or Mick repairs. Um, specialists that would have said cleaner specialist there's a little r there you can't see it's just it's, the sticker's torn phone 6306242 so probably be 0151 in front of that um yeah and that's it really so we've got a funny looking vacuum cleaner um with a piece of black plastic at the front which is definitely not a headlight lens or anything like that and if there's a lamp holder in the motor housing behind there that is just a coincidence i don't understand why that would be there probably won't be it's just me being silly imagining um, and i suppose it's the original paintwork i mean you can even see here slightly there seems to be some sort of white paint underneath i've no idea what that would be off it's ridiculous really um, and again there's like there's white insulation there and there's white showing from the pedal and there's white showing for the broken cord hook you know if I didn't have a bit of knowledge about me, I'd say somebody had resprayed this, but they won't have done. I just know they won't. It's obviously in factory condition. Um, so we'll give it a test anyway. We'll see if it runs. And then we'll call it a day. There's nothing more to show you. Oh, yeah, the height adjustment doesn't work on it. That's only because the wheels aren't... Well, I can't show you. I don't want to tip it up again. The bottom wheels or the rear wheels need to be moved slightly. They're not exactly centre and it's jamming the mechanism. But we'll use the quick test. So what we'll do, we'll just pull that through here like that. And put that on the floor. Get the quick test. And this is what you do. You open up the end. And you put going to be hard to do one-handed so I might have to put you down yeah I think I will do anyway you put the you put the um neutral in the neutral and the live in the live as I'm sure you would have guessed so wait there I might not have to put you down actually wait there and see yeah I will do <laughs> sorry wait there Won't be a sec, just whilst I connect it up to the mains electric supply. Okay, so the connections, how was I holding the camera? That's the way. The connections are in there now. So what you do, that's actually not energised. Say like this was plugged in, it still wouldn't work. The lid actually has to be closed for it to energise the circuit. Um, I'll switch it on anyway. And we'll see if it works. Don't know whether it's switched on or off. Let's go. That must be off. The light's coming on the quick test anyway. So we'll press the power switch. I mean, it's funny really. Hoover uses a power switch like this, but it won't be anything to do with that at all. Right. Try it again. <laughs> Well, it works, smells a bit funny, and the smell of all the muck out of that bag is coming out, and it's not a nice smell. So when you're done, just reopen the quick test. 
press the clips down and pull out the wires like so and then close the quick test and that is how a quick test works and I don't know I've just noticed this again inside that cable grommet is the same colour that the Hoover Senior 652 range has used it's really strange this um, but as I said I mean this is a summit vacuum cleaner it's been a summit since the day it was made why the hell would it be anything else what is wrong with you all it's clearly a summit give it the credit it deserves summit I mean I might for a laugh I'm I mean how dare I I know I'm contemplating and I would only do it I don't know I just thought it might be interesting if I was to make this look like a Hoover Senior and I mean what I could do with any luck since the Hoover Senior spares seem to fit I could actually be really wild and paint this a Hoover Senior colour and oh, I mean I might even be able to take the paint off that and make that into a headlight lens I know it sounds crazy I know I know I'm silly for even thinking it's possible but I mean and why would I want to wreck a summit I know but I I mean, it it looks brilliant the way it is. I mean, it definitely doesn't hurt to look at it. Um, yeah, I, I just got this strange feeling that I want it to be a Hoover Senior for some reason and I might be able to make it one. I mean, for some reason, the paint, if I strip, I'd, it, it probably won't be, it's probably just me. But if I strip a bit of paint off this hood, it might be a different colour underneath. It might be a different coloured plastic. And the same for here. This hammerite might come off and it might be a different colour underneath. I don't know. Maybe white or something. <laughs> um, Yeah, so really strange, really. And I could even put a white cable on, couldn't I? Make it look like a Hoover Senior. No one would ever know. If I was to make this look like a Hoover Senior, no one would ever know it was a summit, would they, really? They'd be like, oh my God, that looks so much like a Hoover Senior. Yeah, so I might do that. I've not decided or I might keep it as it definitely always has been a summit. But there you go. Anyway, here is and there's no model on it, strangely enough, either. It just says the summit vacuum cleaner. So all I can say, see if we can thread this back through, might look a bit nicer for the video. Um, All I can say on this one, <laughs> wind the cable up. All I can say for this one is um, thank you for looking at my Summit vacuum cleaner. I'm really excited because I'm probably the only person in the UK to have a Summit vacuum cleaner. I'm sure they were a really successful company and recycled no parts whatsoever and made everything themselves. Um, yeah, again, if any of you can tell me in the comments why the Hoover Senior spares fit this, I'll be really interested to know because it's clearly not a senior. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching this video on the Summit's vacuum cleaner and we'll have to do an after video, whatever it comes out looking like. But yeah, thank you from thank you for watching. Um it's goodbye from me and goodbye from the summit. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye folks.